So only there was no troops in this one. Dude was lying from ear to ear. You drive. I need to go uh, over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Dude at the police station could wait, bro. Oh! Bro, I'm about to die. Yo! Are you kidding me? That had nothing to do with me, bro. That had nothing. And if I have to start all that over, I'm gonna scream. Controls about to die. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy LSG Melly, and I'm bringing you guys some more LA Nor. I think this is part three. Yeah, yeah, we 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 did good on that last that last case, y'all. We we aced it. Will I have the same luck again? Who knows? Stick around to find out. Cause I man, listen, bro. That last one was a shot in the dark, and I somehow aced it. So we good for right now. Let's see if we can keep this hot streak going now. Not gonna waste y'all time no more. If you guys are liking the content, please like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. I really appreciate that. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna see you guys in the game. The console's car. All right. Why my boy sitting okay, alone? Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Um, yeah, I have a few questions. Um... Better go earn our pathetic wages. Did you use a comb and just go like here on your john or like you told your barber that that's a comb over like that's cool that's mean bro that can't be a scene a dumps car and a witness Let's get that there. that can't be good long-term stuff to your hair bro and i have another question matter of fact <laughs> i don't have let me stop let me stop let's, let's get going Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car rack. Oh, exit. Sweet. An abandoned vehicle. Catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. Or there was a crime. Why are we still using regular police Very cars, bro? Funny. Oh, no, this is this is our car right here. Yeah. You drive, bro. You can drive. Yeah, drive. Go. Do your thing. You do do some work for once. Where's he at? What took you so? You was talking to yourself. Get out. You like, heard about Adrian? Bought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. What? Pride comes before a fall, Mikowski. I'm talking from experience. Wow. <laughs> Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. All right, so he took a... So that's a clue right there, a bat? We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. All right, so he's going to do a, probably a lot of lying, I, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay. No license plate. Mm -mm -mm. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. All right, anything else around here? No. 
Okay. The window's broken. I must have Missing. taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. Missing flag. Good eye, mate. Yes, sir. Registration. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Packard Clipper. Registration fee, $15. Huh. L. Davis. Issuer signatures, L. Davis. Okay. Let's check the trunk. Empty. All right, man. He even took that tire with him. That that's an extra tire right there, right? Missing wheels. Jesus. He sure the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Huh. All right. What else we got? We got a. There was someone taking a picture of a bat. Where's the bat? Bottles? Bro, I already know those bottles is nothing. A wrench. This is what you use to take the tires off, most likely. Wait. Phelps. Okay. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Property of Dewey Bros. Hmm. We gotta call in Dewey Bros. There was someone taking a picture of this bat. He just be touching all the it. evidence with no gloves on. I mean, at the end of the day, we know they know we ain't do it. But wouldn't that interfere with like it in the first place or something? Game. Okay, we're gonna call this in. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. That was fast. Thanks. Nah, give her a raise, bro. She be she be handling stuff fast, man. Alright. I don't think there's anything back here. All right, once you start taking off in full sprint like that, then we're done. What are you taking pictures of? Let me talk to you. Give me some room, huh? I have to get this done. Bro. Ooh. You got the same bad comb over, bro. You think you're so fresh, bro. I'll take that camera and pawn it. Sell it right on eBay. What are you picking up bottles for? What they got to do with anything, dog? How do you talk to people? All right, I guess we don't talk to him. All right. Seems to me we got everything. They wanted to talk to that old man. That old man in the second. Bro, he over here playing with bottles, bro. What are you so intrigued about bottles here, dog? All right. Oswald Jacobs. That's right. What exactly happened? What are you so happy about? Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. He looks like a mummy. Witness report. Uh, all right, so he's Oswald Jacobs, 65 years old. All right, he calm right now. Right, let's go. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. I believe you. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, <laughs> sir? No, I do not. Hispanic suspects. 
after the uh, Mexicans left. You didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Uh, I didn't go. I doubt. I doubt it. I'm doubting you. Hold on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. That's true because the license plate got taken off. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. All right, we're going to ask him. To, I think he, I, I'm doubting him, bro. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. No. You went out to the yeah. car. Yeah! Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't no law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Well, what you lying for, gang? Vehicle stripped of parts. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Doubt. Doubt, 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 doubt. But I can't. He's lying. But let me see. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Wait, we can't prove that he took the license plate, though. Um, there's a flag missing, but can we say? <sighs> I want to ask him the question again. Looks like I made a mistake. Hold on, back out. Let, let's ask him the question again. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Doubt. Right. Yeah! So what did you take, Jacobs? You want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Tabo about signing the formal some statement. Outfits. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? So we're following him to his porch. We can change his outfits. Oh! Oh, we got drip. We got drip. I like this one. Hell yeah. Mmm. Yes, sir. Give me the book. Give me the book. What are you doing? What the? What was that? He said it was on his porch. He said there was a book in the glove box on his porch. What? What? Bro, why are you walking off the roof? There we go. Juan Francisco Valdez. Valdez is no book. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. John Madsen. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Mm. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, keep that why why is the why is the detective music still going off what's full sprint snuck a bike 
Alright, we're gonna call him again. Felt, bad, 1247. How can I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. What? Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Mm. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's oh. demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell That's him a lie his asshole. Thanks, ma'am. All right, so we got to go back to the station. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. So, like, y'all are not going to let the people go home? Like, while y'all do this? What are y'all standing? Do y'all live here? Like, I'm so confused. Do I talk to one of y'all? Let me see, man. How about 50 bucks for the exclusive? See, man. Talk. All right, none of y'all got nothing to say to me. Nah, matter. You're driving. You're behind buddy. the wheel. Uh, where are we going? We're gonna go to. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Nah. Your call. We're gonna go to the dealership. The the Valdez dude. He he not going nowhere. He gonna stay there since he wants an audience so bad. Drama queen, bro. <laughs> this has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm gonna go crazy. Not your favorite cases? Are you kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered. Nah, 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 nah. Don't don't talk about the police like that, bro. They do a good job. I don't know that don't song. Don't tell Walmart. me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. You sketchy already. Not even asking no questions yet. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. We back, we back, we back. This looks like Juggernaut from Call of Duty Zombies. We keep all our tools in here. Oh, investigation. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. All right. We uh, we don't care, Why game. Don't you give us some alone time, Joey. Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do. <laughs> whatever it is that you do here goes crazy. I think this one goes here. All right. And we got this one. All right. So none of the yellows are missing. All right. Reds. Uh, right here. One left. Ah, this goes right here. Yeah. Gabriel Delgado is <sighs> missing a three quarter. So it was a stolen wrench. Well, what we got here? Hammer. Nope. Inspect objects. I wonder what broke the window though. Oh, the license plate. License plate. 
circumstantial. Could it be? Nah. I hate when they make me pick it up. Oh, well, we got license plates here, though. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Mmm, diplo, diplo, diplo. All right, so. All right, no smoking. Can we come out here? Oh, no. Bro, uh, what if I want to go inside the place? All right, so let's talk to homeboy in here then. I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. Dude. Maybe. No. No. Okay. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. You can't check the front of this car. All right, let's let's just go talk. Yo, Phelps be ready to dip. Hussein. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Associate with Valdez. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Use intuition. So there was a flag missing, right? There was a flag missing, but we can't tie that back here. I don't think he's lying, but he might be. Nah, that's what some else. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Doubt. Doubt. Wait, hold on. Let me see the notebook. Let me... Uh... Valdez's notebook. Phone number for William Dewey. We could use this. Uh, abandoned vehicle registers, uh, license plate. He no nah. He's lying. You're lying. You got him holed up somewhere. I'm having nothing to do with that kid. You can't prove any different. Yes, I can, turkey neck. Uh, here. That kid's temper's like a time bomb. I want nothing more to do with him or you. All right. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. It's even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. I low key believe you. Oh. So that's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Nah, this is a lie, and we can and actually I know use a the shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. We can actually use this now, the, the notebook. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal and he bought the car through the embassy. 
I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Can I redo that? I want to redo... I want to redo... I don't want to redo the whole mission, though. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see if, if I quit and come back. Can I redo this right? We all know I messed up. So we, we didn't get 100%. All right. All right. Second time's the if charm. You don't mind, we have a few questions. Second time's the charm, y'all. Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. I don't know about this. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. All right, cool story, buddy. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal. He bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. All right, so this last one right here. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Why does he look? He kind of gives me the the actor that plays Dr. Ock in the Spider-Man movies. I don't know why he reminds me of him so much. He doesn't necessarily look like him, but he reminds me of him. I don't know why, bro. All right, so we're going to use our intuition here to remove an answer. All right, so he's definitely not telling the truth. All right, so view the notebook. Missing license plate. No, missing. Register. Abandoned vehicle register to Argentine consulate. Argentini, Argentini, or whatever. We're going to go doubt. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is they're a little light fingered. <sighs> All right, this one. We don't got no more. Um, we don't have no more intuition to like delete an answer so we got to get this one right so the first one was you know lie and then we use the the book this one is doubt the last one was doubt let's try to get this 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 uh this one right here where can we find delgado i don't know he sure as hell isn't here doubt address dewey or my partner shoves her head in a car door okay oh. all right Apartment 3103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Go into movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Yeah. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. Well, See I did say he reminds me of Doc Ock. Doc, the, the guy's an actor, so... True, he might be right. So only... There was no troops in this one. Dude was lying from ear to ear. You drive. I need to go uh, over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Dude at the police station could wait, bro. Oh! Bro, I'm about to die. Yo! Are you kidding me? That had nothing to do with me, bro.
That had nothing. And if I have to start all that over, I'm going to scream. I restarted, I did all the questions again. I wanna go inside of here and see what's up. They said we can go inside of doors that have um, gold doors, gold handlebars. So I just wanted to come in here and just see what's up, staff only. All right, so there's nothing here. Now we're gonna go to the car. You got something to say? Oh yeah. What I thought. Looking like he's trying to be tough so bad. Bro, you're driving. You know the way. You can drive. All right. All right. Where to? Delgado's residence. Yeah, slide over, bro. You're not entering that, bro. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. But that's ridiculous. You scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color. Look what we have now. Literally everybody in existence today. 3D movies are awesome. The glasses kind of hurt my eyes sometimes, but they're awesome, bro. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. All right. Hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. He probably what did. The hell is this guy doing? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? You move. Who said that? Which one of y'all? Which one of y'all got a beef? What's going on? Yeah. Bro, you want to blow that in my face some more? What's up with you, gang? Oh, yeah, I got these badass comb overs. Like. Yeah. Already. Here he is. Apartment three. Apartment three? Nice. Uh, what? They can't even examine that. That's illegal. Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I thought that was like a regular door we could just go into. We're going to knock on everybody's door, though. They got gold handlebars. They got gold handlebars, so why not? Dude. What's it to you anyway? I'm doing all the work. We're gonna knock on number four first. Hey, keep it down, would you? My little girl just got to sleep. Knocks again. All right. Yes. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? Then why did you try to act like you want to speak name? a lick of English? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. <laughs> Yo, this guy does not care. He caught the uh, oh the so flag. How far along are you, Anna? The flag. Souvenirs are a dumb move. Right. So how's it gonna be? But that's the flag that's missing though. Low key. About Gabriel. He will be a good not father. sure this means much. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Check the 
Bro, close the door, bro. You got her, all her business out like that. So he's into cars. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. All right, so we go. We go have to. Do we come back to that picture or what? Yo, why did you, he broke their lamp? Ooh, this isn't what we're looking for. What is that? Nombres de bib. Those is those is holes. My man got the my man got the gallus. All right. All right, all right. Man's a player for real. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Mm, so he was here. Unless it was Papa. All right, she got a pot on the stove. Let's check outside. Is this even a part of anything? The music is still bumping, so let's see. Music's still bumping, y'all. Ooh. Yeah, we ain't done yet. License plate. Diplomatic license plates. Yes, sir. Good thing I came back here. I almost didn't for some odd reason. I don't know. I just was I'm too eager. Okay, we got tools. Incidental. I don't think the hammer does anything for us either. I don't think so. Just a regular workbench. Bro, stop making me pick everything mm. up. Don't think this is any use to us. Wait. Oh, the tires! Ooh. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Ooh. The wheels. Why are there only two in here, though? What are other? What are other two? And he took them off the things too. I don't know what these are called. Like I like cars, but I don't know all the little ins and out of the car on the car. So like, I I'm no help right there. There was somebody out here too. Where'd he go? All right, just checking my options. We, we gonna go back upstairs. Nah, knock on everybody's door again. Knock on everybody's door again. All right. I don't care if your little girl's sleeping. So I think we got everything though. All right, let's talk to Shorty. Wait, door? Okay, let's talk to her. And that's the flag right there. Too. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. We'll see about that. Last contact with Gabriel. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Lies. The breakfast. But, that could, but could that have been? The breakfast. Breakfast table set for two. Stolen ranch. Uh, we could use the wheels. Cause if you haven't, there's so much to use. Now nah, I actually gotta use the intuition here. But my whole thing is, see, but he could have went in the shed. What I actually haven't come upstairs. So the only thing to use is the breakfast. 
Oh my gosh. So much to use here. Can we use the plates? I don't I don't I don't like this. We're gonna use the breakfast for, for for two. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. We can use the breakfast. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Motives for auto death. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? I believe that. His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. Pause. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. <laughs> Diplomatic re plates recovered. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Cap. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No Knock on this door again. Knock on this door one more time. We know where the kid is. Let's go hey, stop these clowns and get them off the streets. You gonna do what? I was just being an asshole. All right, you best believe you're dropping again. I'm Can you drive to this one? Uh, illegal uh, street race. Yeah, the dude at the police station can wait, bro. We don't care about that. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Whoa, why did it go to black when he asked that question with no answer? Whoa. There's the red Ford that's still got him right there. Gee. Oh, we're going to have to chase him. Quick, they're getting away. All right, belts 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. The red car, right? Reports of an illegal street. Oh. Stay on Delgado. He's getting away. He's gonna lose him. Bro, watch out! Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars and sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16 year old I have to peel off the side. Oh, well, they're actually trying to run me off the road. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Oh, I went down the wrong path. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Delgado is our boy. Forget the others. Bro, they're trying to get me, though. He's gonna lose him. Oh, no. No, we're not. 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 We got him. In the water, though? Keep bugging going through the water. 
Oh, yeah. Lay into his wheel archer. Come on. No. I wish I could have rammed him in the... Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. Yeah. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Bro, you see I'm trying, man. Oh, yeah. Got him. Yes, sir. Make sure he ain't up to nothing. Bro, what? Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest Hello, for Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. That was a thumbnail. I don't know what he said, but that was a thumbnail. You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're going to let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. So do we go to, like, the police station now? What do we do now, bro? Clues found 16 out of 17. We missed one clue. What clue? What clue could we have possibly missed? You know what? I don't even care, bro. But we already did a bad dang job on this uh this uh thing anyway, because like with the dude at the dealership, we got that wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and act like this was a perfect episode. But it was good though, you know. I had to go back and redo some things, but I all right, guys, that's going to be in this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. That was cool. Uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned for my next episode. Make sure, like I said, turn your notification bells on so you can see when I drop, because even though you might be following me, if you know the bell not on, you will not get notified until maybe a couple days later or a week later. Or who knows? YouTube is very funny with that. So make sure the notification bell is on. Like and subscribe to your boy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.